this is the dollar index chart and we are on the weekly time frame so we can obviously see how the us dollar dominated the whole of last week just by this one single weekly candle so what should we be expecting next week of course a bullish dollar so i am anticipating that the dollar is going to at least come into the 107.091 area next week of course i will be expecting price to break above that and continue to the next level but for next week this is where i am seeing dollar run into so let's go to the daily time frame and see price action from the daily perspective obviously we can see that price has obviously created a new higher high all the way from this point price created a high a higher low and then a higher high so i expect this continuous push to the upside if we go to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame if you remember last week price was trading around here when i made last week's video and i said i'm expecting a pullback into this zone before we continue back to this green zone here even though obviously we can see that price has broken above it though i had a plan b and that was if price breaks below this green zone then I'll be expecting a pullback into that zone. Then we are going to fall all the way down to this zone. But obviously, we can see that our plan A played out and price continued higher from that zone. Now, going into next week, I'll be expecting an initial pullback into this zone. Before, if I see a bullish engulfing candle, then I may be bullish. All right. So going into next week, if I squeeze out my chart, this trend line is coming from this top here on the four hour time frame connecting these two um, previous zones around here then i projected it into the future now price has broken above that trend line and above this green zone right as you can see i captured these points here now price has broken out of that trend line and out of that green zone so if price will only graciously give us a solid pull back into this trend line and into this green zone before we find momentum to continue pushing upward, that will be very, very nice to see. All right. I would actually like to see a pull back into this trend line that also confluences with this green zone before we now make our way into 107.091. All I'm just trying to say in essence is next week dollar index i am bullish and i'd like to see this pullback happen before we continue higher now let's go look at some pairs some dollar pairs starting with euro usd as usual so euro usd we can see how price has bounced off this trend line significantly this trend line has been tested about three times before price came back into that trend line so price came back there gave us a solid rejection and continued downward so but let's check out the daily time frame so that we can see some clean price action so on this daily time frame everything is telling us that euro usd is pointing downward as a matter of fact let's go to the monthly time frame so that uh, we'll see why price is going to continue falling on the euro usd so on the monthly time frame we can see that price created an impulsive move to the downside between this zone to this zone now it has come back to this area right and we are beginning to see for the past couple of years now i mean if i put my mouse around here price has been ranging since um january or february 2023 till now around this zone here but regardless of that price came back and has tested this zone and is finding it difficult breaking and closing above this green zone here as a matter of fact price is beginning to give us something like a double top formation and a double top formation is a bearish reversal pattern right so i'm expecting to see price come into these areas first of all before if we break below this area i'd like to see price continue to this area here so the monthly time frame is printing a double top the weekly time frame let's go to the weekly time frame is printing something like a head and shoulders pattern right as you can see this is the left shoulder the head the right shoulder and we are seeing impulsive move to the downside so guys we are yet to break the neckline so for now i'm expecting price to continue to this zone here before if we find enough momentum to break below the zone which is what i'm expecting to see then price will make its way to this lows here which is around 0 0.95678 areas and then if we go to the daily time frame price is also creating a head and shoulders pattern as we can see here the left shoulder the head 
the right shoulder right so and now price on the daily time frame has actually broken below the neckline of um this head and shoulders pattern so currently where prices will still have a significant move to the downside on this daily time frame we are talking about a 154 pip move to the downside and if we break below that then we are coming to these lows here which is a massive massive move to the downside so now let's break things down on the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame this is the neckline on the daily time frame this is the neckline that price has obviously broken below or broken out from so going into next week i'd like to see a pullback into this zone here which is between the 1.06858 and 1.07106 area so i'd like to see a pullback into those areas before we find momentum to push price downward but my next target on euro usd is one 1.04862 1.04862 and that is a total of around 190 pip move or 200 pip move to the downside that is if we see the pullback if we get our pullbacks going into next week euro usd i am bearish now on gbp usd gbp usd let's start from the daily time frame price is clearly in a downtrend creating series of lower lows and lower highs low lower high lower low lower high we now have a new lower low so i expect to see a lower high before we now get another new lower low to the downside let's go to the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame sorry guys i'm currently in this trade and uh i'm currently floating around 2.4 to 1 on this trade on one of my prop firm accounts actually i didn't replicate this across all my prop firm account because i was mad i'll tell you why recently i don't trade gbp usd but I just saw i still had the chart opened after my weekly analysis and that was why i took this trade but why did i take that trade i'll tell you because i had the loss before this win that i am currently in at the moment but as you can see based on my last week's analysis i was anticipating the price was going to continue higher until we come into the zone now price broke out of that zone came back for a retest on the lower time frame my entry criteria was met i jumped into the trade i was hoping to hold maximize until price come into this zone but guess what obviously you can see how price dropped back down into the zone so i was greedy i was mad i was angry i won't even lie to you and uh but when i saw this solid push to the downside it was a cue for me that okay liquidity has been taken and that was why price had this fuel to push down the way it did so i didn't even hesitate i just jumped into the trade immediately like that and my my stop loss was above here and uh, my take profit was below this zone here right price is yet to come to that zone which is going to give me a four to one reward to risk but guys i just want to tell you something about trading this is why you have to accept losses because you want to trade what is right in front of you right i saw a good buying opportunity i jumped into the trade i was wrong but i had a plan b i had a plan b right and when i saw this massive rejection to the downside back below this trend line right i felt like okay that means that trend line has been violated that is a manipulation right there and price is going to continue downward and i jumped into that trade and uh, obviously i was right this time right and i'm currently floating two to one which means i have recovered my initial loss and i am in profit of another one percent because i'm risking one percent on this particular prop firm account and on my swing account i'm risking three percent so i have three percent risk on this trade so i'm three percent up currently since we are trading currently at two to one from my entry but anyways there was a loss before this win and that is how the game goes i'm cool with that as long as i'm in profit as long as i'm making withdrawals that is all that matters now going into next week guys um price is trading in my plan b from last week area so going into next week i would like to see a pullback i just hope and pray that price gives us a pullback because i'll be adding to my position if i see this and if i get a pullback my stop loss would be around these highs here not just above here to be around these highs here and then i'll add to that position and still 
hold till price come to this zone here but if we go back to the weekly time frame price is not just targeting that zone price is actually targeting a much bigger zone which is way below here all right if i go back to the daily time frame um my zone my long-term zone is actually around here so if that pullback happens and we can hold on to price come into this final target that would be a 400 pip move to the downside on gbp usd big big move Price has been ranging, price has broken below that zone. I'll be expecting a pullback before we drop. All right. But overall, on GBP USD going into next week, I am bearish. Now, let's look at USD JPY quickly. USD JPY price is currently trading above this zone. If we go to the monthly time frame, price has created a new higher high. Price has created a new higher high. Right, we're trading around here. So, I'll be expecting to see price come into this next zone here which is around 160.000 area right so on the weekly time frame the same thing i'll expect that continuous push to the upside on the daily time frame however i'd like to see a pullback right this zone has been tested multiple times looking left so i'd like to see a pullback into this area before we continue higher on usd jpy so USD JPY next week, I am bullish. Now, let's quickly take a look at Euro JPY. Euro JPY last week, I'll go to the four hour time frame. Euro JPY last week, uh, price was trading around here, and I was like, I'd like to see price come into this zone here. But also on the four hour time frame, my next target is 165.336. The price came this close right so which means money was still made for those that traded this i believe you won't just open your eye and see price take you out right after being in significant profit however price continued higher as i predicted came this close to our take profit region before selling off now going into next week i'd like to see price take out this green zone which is between 162.543 and 162.747 so i'd like to see price take out that zone come back for a retest before we continue downward so my next target on euro jpy is around here which is 160 point two three six area so i'd like to see price break below here because price has been so impulsive so i'd like to see take out this zone come back for a retest before the sell-off so euro jpy next week i am bearish now last on my list is gold gold i will be honest with you i'll go to the higher time frame on gold gold I like to look for zones that we can trade off from because if we want to buy, we want to buy from a zone. If we want to sell, we want to sell from a zone. So except you've been holding um, gold, right now I don't see a zone that I'll be expecting to buy from because of course price is clearly in a bullish uh, trend. So price range here for a bit before breaking out and trending upward so except price comes for a deeper pullback into the 21 sorry into the 2195.20 area before going bullish which i don't see happening i'll just be patient on gold i'll allow price create a base for us to trade from all right so if anything changes maybe within the week i could drop the chart analysis on the telegram channel so on gold right now i really don't know what to say because on the daily time frame as you can see one two three four days straight price moved sideways before pushing higher and coming back with this impulsive move to the downside so going into next week let's just see what happens so guys that will be all for this week's analysis if you want to learn how to analyze the chart like this and you also want to have a rule-based execution strategy then we still have space left in our academy do yourself a favor grab any of our mentorship program and take your trading to the next level i wish you a successful trading week thanks for making it to the end of this video if you are yet to subscribe do that now and i'll see you in the next video bye